Well, hello, hello there. Welcome to another unedited work with me tech tutorial. So this week I put together a pretty detailed blog post about how you can use surveys to get all the answers that to the questions that have been keeping you up at night, like is your offer priced appropriately? Where should you be focusing your time and energy on? Where should you invest in your marketing efforts? What are the most appealing pieces of your offer that you need to be highlighting when you're talking about your offer on your sales page and in your marketing messaging? Instead of wasting countless hours racking your brain, I think a lot of people forget that you can go straight to the source and ask your customers with surveys. So I'm going to quickly show you how in Kajabi, I use the assessment feature to create and embed surveys to gain these valuable insights from my customers. So let's get into it. Okay. So from your Kajabi dashboard, you're going to jump into the assessments tab. Once you're in here, you'll be um, given brought to this page where you can title your survey. I give a little description about what this survey is about. This is actually four quick questions. So welcome. Yay. I'm so glad to get you to get to know you better. I have these four quick questions. I'd love you to answer to learn more about what you want in newsletter content and what would be interesting for you. And then I let them know that there might be a surprise at the end for taking their time to answer these surveys. So you can also do like your start text. So it'll just say, click the button to start. You'll see this when we go to the preview page. And then when they complete the survey, I like to give them a discount code to one of my planning templates. And there is a link for them to just go check out right there. So if you want to see what this guy looks like in action, this is it. So that's what we just went over. And then I'm gonna hop back here and show you how you can edit the questions. So I like to keep these guys super short and sweet and to the point, but you'll see here that you have a couple of different options on how you can format your questions. So you have the option to do multiple choice. You have an option for them just to write a paragraph. They can upload a file, select multiples, and you can also section off your survey if it's more um, detailed than that. So we'll go back. I'll let you guys see what this quickly looks like here. Start and then yeah, then we go through it. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. blah, blah. And then they can go here, and then as you can see, they can click there, and that takes them to my offer. I also want to be able to review the results and know when people take the survey. So I have um, checked off to send a completion to my team email. That is my email. And then you can also, if you wanted to view your results, you can jump in and view them here. It's a new survey. So I've only got one person. You can export them to a spreadsheet so you can keep track of it. All the good things. Okay. So once you've got the survey completed, in Kajabi, where do you put it and how do you put it into a page where your customers can take it? So this is my post email subscriber opt-in. So just after someone decides to opt into my uh, email list, I have them complete this survey. So I embed it on the thank you page. And then I also include a link to that page in my welcome sequence. Another survey that I do or recommend is a post-purchase survey. So this would be the same kind of design. You would just embed it on your purchase confirmation page or your post-purchase thank you page. And those guys can be really, really beneficial to understand what led a new client to invest in your product. So you can double down on what worked for next. So how do you get these assessments into your page? Uh, one, you're going to make sure you hit save. You're going to go to your website and build out a simple thank you page. You can see my opt-in thank you page. I can use this, it's generic, so I can use this for every opt-in that I have. It says, thank you. Yay, I'm so glad to he you're here. Love to get to know you better. We went through all that. But basically all this is is a really simple hero section. 
I've got the thank you. I think this was the template on Kajabi. And then in add com content, I added the assessment. And then you can choose the survey you'd like to embed on the page. Click save. Always make sure to change the URL link too. So if we click in the details, make sure we change the URL to say opt-in thank you page. And then I'm going to include that link to that if, in case they don't take it once they subscribe or after they purchase. I'll include that either in their onboarding or in their welcome sequence as well, just so I can give myself the best chance of gathering this valuable information from the customer. So I hope that was super helpful for you. Like I said, surveys are like a such an efficient time saver. Like they literally are a crystal ball into your customers' thoughts, feelings, wants, and needs, and they are an essential tool for getting all the answers to the questions and getting your business to where you want it to be efficiently and effectively. So if this video helped you out, definitely comment below if you have any questions or if you'd like me to see to make another tech tutorial. Have a great day.